Okay, this example is quite similar to a couple of our previous examples. Uh, in this example, uh, we're given a couple of functions, and we want to determine if these functions are one-to-one. Uh, -one. Uh, in this case, we have uh, functions uh, expressed as sets of ordered pairs, uh, as opposed to uh, tables or graphs or formulas. All right, so let's recall uh, a function is one-to-one -one, uh, if different uh, inputs uh, match different outputs. And so we just use that basic definition uh, to determine uh, if a function is one-to-one. -one. So if we look at this um, uh, function expressed in uh, part A, uh, notice um, this function is not going to be one-to-one -one because there are uh, two different uh, inputs, uh, namely zero and two, uh, that match the same output 6. So uh, it's not the case that different inputs always match different outputs in uh, this function um, in part A because we have uh, the same inputs, uh, uh, different inputs I mean, that match the same output. And that does not happen in a one-to-one -one function. So again, this uh, set of ordered pairs in part A is a function. Uh, this is an example of a function. It just doesn't happen to be a one-to-one -one function. And the reason is um, uh, different uh, inputs uh, match the same output. These two different inputs, 0 and 2, match the same output, uh, 6. So um, A uh, is not a one-to-one -one function. On the other hand, um, if you look at the function um, expressed here in part B uh, as a set of ordered pairs, well, notice that uh, it cannot be the case that different inputs match the same output uh, because all of the outputs um, in this function are different. Um, the four outputs are the range, in other words, of this function is 7, 6, 8, and 3. Notice all of those outputs are uh, different. And so um, it cannot be the case uh, that different inputs match the same output. Uh, in other words, uh, different uh, inputs uh, match different outputs. Uh, so um, the function here expressed in uh, part B um, is an example uh, of a one-to-one -one, uh, function. Not a very complicated one-to-one -one function. There's only four ordered pairs um, in this function. Uh, but nevertheless, um, it still meets the definition of a one-to-one -one function. So uh, the function expressed in B is a one-to-one -one function. Uh, the function expressed in part A is not a one-to-one -one function.